talking about a bit of a douche and it sounds whisper. Don't you know who? Talking about a bit of a douche and it sounds like a whisper. Gentlemen, it is Monday, the fifth day of January. The year is now 2015. And if you can hear the sound of my voice, then you are the revolution. I am Smoking Joe McHale, and this is the fight for freedom. Yes, we are rebranding the revolutionary nightly news refocusing our energy, reapplying ourselves more diligently. We are going into the future and we are going to win this fight. We are going to win the fight for freedom. I am extremely happy, excited, because I'm announcing the launch right now of my brand new website, www.fightforfreedom.today. For more than 10 years, I've been studying and researching and talking about the dangers that we face from the government, from corporations, and from the overarching system, the global network of governments that seek to control every aspect of human life. I've tried many different strategies for getting people to listen, for awakening people, enlightening people, some with a great deal of success, some with less success. When I've spoken about things that were very close to home, a lot of people didn't want to hear that. A lot of people's cognitive dissonance was too much. I'm going to switch the light on. Let there be light. And there was light and it was good. Like I was saying, I've been trying so hard to do whatever I can to ensure that humanity has a safe, prosperous, free future. With the revolutionary 90 news for the past year, before that, being all over social media and talking to whoever would listen, alienating a lot of people, reaching out, hoping that someone would listen, hoping that someone would care enough to join me in this fight. And so many of you, so many of you have joined me and like to thank you. I'd like to thank each and every one of you. 2015 is going to be a year where we will excel, where we will see our numbers swell, where we will see tyranny be pushed back. And we're the ones who are going to do it. Fightforfreedom.today is going to be a news aggregator website where I collect articles from different parts of the internet, different stories, and post them under different categories. For example, freedom from the police state, freedom from false flag attacks, freedom from poison, freedom from government violence. And I've always said that my goal is to put this information out there, use whatever kind of clout that I have to get people to listen and to show them this piece of information and then this piece of information. For example, how the recent lockout laws are part of the police state 
and also how the recent meeting in Brisbane, how so many different aspects of our lives come together. Police sniffer dogs, the fact that they are taxing us, the fact that they're using the money that they tax us, that they get from our taxes, and they spend that on wars overseas that kill innocent little children. Everything is all tied together. And I heard a beautiful analogy yesterday while I was watching a lecture from Mark Passio. I recommend you look him up. And he said, we are living under such a deception, such a tyranny. I'm paraphrasing here, of course, that it's as if we are in a dark room. All of humanity is in a dark room. And we have a giant jigsaw puzzle. And we want to put that together to see the bigger picture of what's going on. And I feel that for years, I've been collecting a piece here, collecting a piece there, collecting a piece there, in the darkness, and then bringing it into the light. And I know that I don't have all of the pieces, but I've got a piece here, I've got a piece here, I've got a piece here. And when I see this piece is how they put sodium fluoride in our water. And when I see this piece about how they conduct false flag attacks. And then when I see this piece, how they have endless wars and are building a clash of civilization, I can put those pieces, to be, those pieces together and say, hey, look, with these pieces, you can see the bigger picture and the bigger picture is tyranny. So I'll be making, I'll be writing my own articles on fightforfreedom.today and I'd like you to recommend to me any articles you'd like for me to post, any other strategies that we can use to peacefully bring down this evil government that's killing people all over the world, stealing our money, stealing our future, stealing the future of our collective children. I will not allow that to happen. I will not allow that to happen. And over the Christmas, New Year period, very busy time for DJs, I remember when I was so outspoken on the first day after the Sydney siege, saying that it's a false flag attack and explaining why, because the United States and Australia's allies and the United States itself fund ISIS, fund the Mujahideen, fund al-Nusra, fund al-Qaeda. And then they have this bloke waving this flag saying that he's conducting a terror event on behalf of ISIS. It doesn't make sense. When you're funding the enemy and then you say that this enemy attacks you in order for you to bring about greater tyranny and in order for you to continue your endless wars that's what a false flag attack is and i received so much hatred and so much criticism even i had one friend call me and say the club we had you playing for really doesn't like the publicity you're getting he said it's not what you're saying you're not saying anything bad per se but the fact that so many people are angry at you for saying what you're saying they don't want anything to do with you anymore and they cancelled a gig of mine. But I knew that this would happen and I knew that I would have to stand strong and stand firm and I knew that I would be vindicated and it was less than one hour later that I received a phone call to replace that gig that I had lost on a Saturday night. And then a few days ago, another friend of mine called me and said, hey, I found out about how they cancelled your gig at that other joint and I want to book you for these two gigs. So I want to give you courage, all of you out there. I know when you talk about these issues, you can get a lot of hatred, a lot of people with cognitive dissonance who can't understand what's going on, who are too scared to understand what's going on, calling you crazy, calling you a liar, calling you a conspiracy theorist. I say, bring it on because I am strong enough to handle it and the righteous will not fall. I am doing the right thing. I'm not spreading any violence. I'm not spreading any hatred. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about exposing how the government are the ones killing, murdering, raping, pillaging, stealing, destroying humanity. And there are so many things that we can do, all of us together, that I'm going to discuss on fightforfreedom.today. One thing I've done, it's the 5th day of January now, and despite the fact that I love eating meat so much, I realized through a lot of research, I especially recommend that you watch the film Earthlings, that eating a vegan diet is the only real moral way for me to go forward. Because how can I expect not to be dominated 
by the New World Order, by the Illuminati, by the government, if I were to dominate innocent creatures and eat their dead flesh. There are so many different things all of us can do on so many different levels to win this revolution, to win freedom for ourselves. And I'm not trying to say on any level that I'm holier than thou. I'm on the same journey as you. Well, we're all on different journeys, but I'm trying everything. I'm doing everything in my power to become a more moral, more honest, more compassionate, more loving person day by day by day. And the more that we set our minds to what is right, to what is positive, to what is loving, to what is caring, the quicker we will win our freedom. Please visit me and tell your friends at www.fightforfreedom.today because I know that we will defeat evil. I know that we will not allow the government to control us for much longer. And I believe and declare that together, we will crush the new world order. Welcome to the fight for freedom. This is the greatest fight of your life. The revolution is here. Woo!